Why do you think, what, what's the term? Like, they were like hate, they don't respect, mm -hmm. they're basically, what was the word you used? You said, uh, tolerance. Yeah. Tolerance. So, tolerance. So, so it, what's, it, the, what's the cognitive so, so dissonance? Which is what, what do the surveys and the science tell us? Yeah. So, 80% of men are deemed below average attractiveness on dating apps. Mm. Only 20% of men are deemed to be attractive. Mm -hmm. When we look at, uh, when we do look at different properties like this on dating apps, men right swipe 55% of the time, women right swipe 5% of the time. Mm. Yeah. And so, the average woman is not interested in the average man. The average man finds the average woman more attractive than the other way around. And so because of that, what we find is that these women are finding these people to be, these men to be disappointing. There's something we always forget. A very beautiful woman who has a lot of men searching after her and a very average looking woman, they see the same images on social media. They are receiving the same stimulus. And so the possibilities that they think they can get are the same. And when yeah. you have women left swiping 6,000 times for every one date on dating apps, they start to believe, I can get these men to commit to me. I could get these men. I'm better than these men. And they start to get this deluded sense of self. Additionally, in a short-term dating context, women tend to rate men to the left. They push. They say a man who's an 8, they call him a 5. A man who's a 7, they call him a 4 or a 3. And there's only like three guys who are 10s. What would That's you rate Kean? Kean's a 10. Kian's definitely a ten. He's a yeah, definitely. He's, really? He's not, gonna, he's, not gonna, he's not gonna have any trouble at all. Joe Yang, is he the kind of guy you're looking for? A tall, handsome athlete? Of course, everybody won't fuck him. Yeah, sure. Okay. But he, <laughs> he, he can't make it to a second date though. He can't make it to a second Why not? date with me. He's gonna he's gonna be uh, very mad at me. I'll be like uh, he doesn't the have pants your are gay, don't wear them. Yeah. Oh, you're calling out his pants too tight. It's, it's way too tight. He's gonna. He enjoy getting grabbed in the gay uh, club. I think. <laughs> but what? No, he enjoy getting grabbed by gays in the gay club. I think. He no one enjoys is that. Is that what you like? Okay. Can he, I, he's can attracting I that. Ken, do you want to respond to that? Applicable. Uh, but whip it no, out, he's, man. He's, he's already vomiting. No. So. Okay, Rolo. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, he just. He just That's gave cute. you the. That's cute. Me love you long time. <laughs> <laughs> he is so adorable. He's cute. I can breastfeed him. Listen, we're making magic <laughs> out here, guys. What did she say? She said she could breastfeed. Well, she's so oh, funny. So Why is it? So I would say more so. Fuck. She is hilarious. I would say more so. I read this book, Why Men Love Bitches. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's true or not. Read that right but now. But it works. You read that now? Yeah, yeah that's a good one. There they go. Well, let me see. Art of like, Seduction, like, all that. Read all that. But more so, I, um, a lot of women, and maybe I'm speaking too brass. I like how you speak. A lot of women see children as, I mean, men as children, like five-year-olds. You can't, you can't, if a child, child comes to you with a poorly drawn image of you, you're going to say it's good. My man comes to me with something, I'm going to say it's good. Because if I say something bad, he's going to swear I don't like him, he's going to talk to the next girl about it or something. I think that when I say tolerant, it's just that I have to, of course, I, me being feminine, I have to hold down how I really feel. I want you to say how you really feel because you're the man, but I have to hold down how I really feel. Or if you're cheating on me or you're hurting me, I can't just go slashing your car and stuff like that and mm -hmm. doing well. all types of things see, that here, I want to so do. Like, let, let me see if I can make this applicable. On our show, we've done this like at least on two occasions where we've done these, uh, there's these man on the street kind of interviews mm -hmm. where the guy just walks around basically with a microphone. He asks all these women, like I don't, maybe it's in Fremont or somewhere else, you know, around, uh, do, do women need men? And every last one of these women says, fuck no, we don't need no fucking men. Like, I mean, like they're very mm -hmm. emphatic mm -hmm. about it, right? Fuck men. We, we don't need men. We can take care of our, ourselves, blah, blah, blah. And they go to, right. and every single one of these girls that they just randomly go up to on the, they outside the clubs and stuff like that. They go up to the guys and say, do men need women? And they're like, what do you mean? Yeah, of course we need, you know, like it's like a no brainer to them. They don't even know why you're even asking the question. Right. Mm -hmm. But it, it was meant to emphasize the difference between the attitude of like women versus men versus men versus women. Right. And so what I have seen from like over, over the years now is that when, there's a common refrain amongst women. We don't need men, but we want men. Okay. Oh, and so the don't need part is coming from the fact that women have already established that I'm a alpha female, right? Mm -hmm. Which there's really no such thing as an alpha female. Mm -hmm. But what you're saying is I've become the man that I wanted to marry. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so therefore I've got my own damn money. I've got my own education. I've got my own, I've, I'm well established. I'm much more mature now. Where's my man, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you've already established and got all of the things that you needed for your long-term security. And so what's left? I don't need a man because I have all, or at least I have the perception that I have all of this long-term security already provided for. Mm -hmm. What's left? A guy with good dick. I need a guy, I need dick dash. I need a guy to come over to my, <laughs> to my, to my house, Nobody, fuck me up, and leave. Don't clip that. Right, exactly. Don't clip that. That's what, yeah. that is, and no, so, I, I mean, that's the, love. that's the, I do. Yeah, okay. So that's, so, 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 so,
Justin Waller. <laughs> they want they want you know um, yeah, but at Jason the, Momoa. They want Jack Reacher. They because that's the guy that's going to lay down the good dick, and they're because they don't need him for anything else. But at the end so, of the day, most women, um, I don't know if it's because guys are just like they said, boys to be boys. Back to my child analogy: mm -hmm. if you go out and you practice sleeping with different women all the time, mm -hmm. you do pose more of a joke and a threat as being my man because mm -hmm. at any moment, yeah, but most men can't do that. Yeah, most guys. Most can't men, do that. the average guy in the in the USA has okay, a five body count. Well, and the okay, when he dies, okay, the when he dies, but, but he has a five the, body count. But the whole perspective of men, of well, women hating men, is because you guys have this bad boy. I'm gonna do what I want, and no, no, I don't no, care if no, I'm no, married no, no, or no, no, not. Fifteen percent of men have that. Yeah. The other okay, eighty-five you, percent of men, you don't fucking notice. Majority of men have that. I get that. Most, yeah, they haven't had sex in a year. I get that, but don't guys. Hold on, breaking news. Breaking news. Our friend here, Zhao Yang. She's actually her dude just showed up. And he's picking her up from the show. She's got to go. With that good day. So with that good, <laughs> exactly. So triple threat. You killed it. You crushed it. Uh, we'll what's be the back. fun? Which who would you like to take with you? Are you switching teams? Are you staying with the men? You're picking the Those bears. Guys? I'm just saying. What you they got are, going they on? They are both. They are three of them are very attractive and yeah. well spoken, and uh, um, they are cute. Okay. Yeah, they are good men. All right, where can we find you? <laughs> uh, on Access Summers Vegas. Media, <laughs> Summers Comedy is my comedy tour, my national tour, and the Jiao Ying Summers everywhere. J I A O Y I N G S U M M E R S everywhere. TikTok. Where Instagram. are you performing tonight? Tonight at Boca, okay. a Black Box. Tomorrow at Off the Hook at Naples, Florida. Okay, great. Mm. Nice. Um, well, you were incredible. Thank You're you amazing. for having me. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime you want. Come to Vegas. Let me tell you something. Me love you long time. Thank you. Hundred percent. Clap it you. up for our friend out Thank here. You. We're moving on to the next Thank segment. You. Hey, so you stayed to the end. If you're still watching this, I have a gift for you. Click the link below, and I will teach you how to position yourself as a high-status man. And yes, it's absolutely free.